Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today I have for you the battery life review for the Galaxy S9 Plus. Now, we did our standard uh, battery life test, but we did push it a little bit more this time, but the results are pretty much what I expected them to be. Not as good as the Note 8, but definitely still good for most people. Now, I will say this is a pre-production model, so keep that in mind, especially because I feel like it would have gotten at least a half an hour more but it dropped a uh, signal a couple of times. Again, pre-production model, so it, it just like, it suddenly had no internet at times when I was out and about and like it went from 4G to nothing. So just know that. All right, here are the, are the results. Uh, so basically I got almost 13 hours uh, throughout the day with this phone and the screen on time, as you can see right there, is going to be five hours and 29 minutes. Now, first of all, I will say, a lot of people always ask me, how do you get these insane screen on times that no one else gets? Watch my how to improve your battery life and how to speed up videos. Every time. Because I swear, it's all right there. I don't do anything special besides that. And I am a heavy user. I'll give you an example. On this day uh, that we fully tested it, I did, what, two hours of YouTube and over an hour and a half of gaming. And you can see that uh, cell uh, um, standby did harm it in terms of normally it wouldn't be that bad, but it definitely was. Uh, and I noticed it drop off a lot more when I was at the mall and doing stuff, uh, taking photos and doing all this kind of stuff. Uh, the camera was right below this basically because we were doing our video and photo taking. We were doing social media on Twitter as well as Instagram. So just checking out all these different things while using it as anyone else would, but with a little bit more YouTube and a little bit more uh, on the side of gaming. So that being said though, this did do very well. Over five hours is a good st is a good stance to go on. Again, I do feel that it would have been right at the beginning of six hour mark uh, for an average if the cell signal had been uh, better. But definitely since I got the latest update in my pre-production model, it's had, it's had glitches when it comes to 4G LTE, so just know that. Uh, overall though, uh, how does this fall in line? Well, when we did the same test with the Galaxy Note 8 this past uh, year, we got six and a half hours on average with these similar tests. So it is going to be about, I would say, half an hour to an hour uh, difference between the Note 8 and the S9 Plus. So the S9 Plus does not have a better battery life than uh, the Note 8. So just keep that in mind uh, when you're weighing your options on what to go for. Overall, it's really good battery life. I think most people uh, would say anything over five hours is going to be a good battery life, but it is not great in terms of that six hour on average mark uh, plus is really what's gonna to get to great. And although I do think it would be closer to it, I don't know if it would be like at six and a half hours like the Note 8 is or definitely not where the Mate 10 is, almost seven hours of screen on time. So uh, that being said, let me know what you guys think. Again, we are doing every video you can think of, so if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, we will have the most coverage for the S9 Plus on YouTube, period. We have about 40 videos lined up, so yeah, where are we at now? All right, guys, thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.